What's going on you guys? I'm in my son's room right now. He's having tummy time, so you know I got a little time to talk to you. Parenting has been, you know what I'm saying, some of the hardest things. Not I'm saying hardest, because it's, it's not, it comes natural to us, but I feel like parents don't get enough credit, you feel me? Like, I feel like kids, taking care of kids, raising babies, especially from the newborn stage, you deserve a medal. You deserve a trophy. It's not easy, man. Taking care of and having a whole life in your hands, you know what I'm saying, that you need to care for, you know, and luckily having a teammate, you know, that takes some of the pressure off me. And I know other people are not that lucky. And I know y'all, some of y'all out here doing it by yourself, man. I just want to clap for y'all and give y'all y'all flowers. Y'all out here doing the damn thing. You you making sure your kid's taken care of and, you know, you giving the kid love that they need and the attention they need. You know, if you're doing it by yourself or if you do got a partner or you do got a family, you know what I'm saying? I want you to appreciate that. And I want to say, you know what I'm saying, you deserve all your blessing that's coming to you, man, for taking up and taking care of your kids. And hey, I know, we moved to Houston three years ago. It's about to be four years ago now. So we, you know, we don't have family here. We got J Janae's sister. That's the only person we got here, y'all. So we was willing willing to, you know, have, ki have a kid and have more kids, you know, knowing that it's just us, you know? And we knew the sacrifice that it would take, obviously, we had to live that sacrifice first. But that's what we're doing now. You guys, we don't have help. There's no help. Nobody's coming to save us. You know, like we're in this by ourselves and we know that all we got is each other. And that's how I feel like strong bonds are really built, you guys. I feel like we've been taking the time over the last two weeks. Oh, he's, he's, uh, he's having a tummy time, y'all. He, he's talking to us. He hear me talking. So he's talking. He ain't crying. He ain't, he ain't crying. How you, son? How you? Okay, like I said, parenting is not easy and it takes a lot of sacrifice and you got to find tricks and you got to find, you know, little uh, ways to solve problems, you know what I'm saying? And this rocking chair right here, <laughs> when I tell y'all, done say it all like so many times, y'all, he be whining a little bit, you know, maybe even a, a little, little upset stomach. The rocking chair helps get his stomach clear, like blow out after blow out when you on her, you feel me? It's getting it out though, you feel me? That's what I'm saying. I don't want his, whatever he got in him, I need him to, you know, I need him to come out. I don't want him to be in distress because of that, you know? Or if he's just sleepy or if he just needs to be calm, this this chair right here has been a proven secret weapon. Like, it's just that, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, when dad mode come on, I gotta find any way to solve a problem. And this, this rocking chair, man, done helped me a lot of times, you know? And I just wanna say thank you, rocking chair. Luck says thank you too. He look at him, he's up, y'all. <laughs> he loved his rocket shirt. And I be singing him songs and stuff. You don't know I mean? hear one of the songs I be singing him? Okay. We gonna go night, night. We gonna go night, night. We gonna go night. Hey, y'all. Do not steal my song. Man, I'm gonna copyright that. For real. All right, you guys. So I just got in here in baby boy's room with dad and baby. Y'all, baby, he was doing good until I started talking. Mm -hmm. He must have heard me. It's like, oh, mom ain't here and finna raise hell. But yeah, look at him. He's he's such a big boy. I can't believe it, y'all. In like a week, in a few days, he will be a month. And I just cannot believe it. Like, it don't feel like I pushed him out a month ago. Like, slow down, Tom. Let me have some time with my baby. I feel like we only been doing this for like a week. He's just like growing and developing so well. It's crazy. So yeah, look at my thingy me, me, me. And him daddy. He's really tired, so he's gonna get put down for this nap very soon. But y'all, let me clear this real quick. This is one of my favorite things in here, but other than that, we got this. So we got this little baby hand put print and footprint keepsake frame. And I keep telling Derek, we need to do this before it gets too big, we need to do this before it gets too big. And time be fun, obviously, because he's about to be a month. So we got this here. We're gonna put his little foot in there or whatever. I can't wait. It's gonna be so cute. We're gonna put on one of these walls or something. So this is supposed to be what we stick his foot in. I don't know how he's gonna react to this, <laughs> but we just look. I think he'd be fine. And then it's got some other stuff in here. And then I'm supposed to put his little bracelet down here. And then we need a cute little picture of him. And I have a cute little stinky picture. All right, let's get it.
obey, put up a schedule, um, something that we can oh, log. It's really a daily log. Yeah. Yeah. You know what time it is? No. No. Y'all, she done asked me what time it is 10 times already today. We don't get a clock put in here on the it, wall. It's 3.54. Okay, so he probably started his nap at like 3.45. We don't see how much sleep he's going to get. I think he'll be up in about two hours. An yeah. hour and a half. Yeah. But yeah, y'all, I felt like, as you guys know, I used to work at a daycare. So I feel like me being able to track stuff makes me more sane in the brain. Because I just hate feeling unorganized and feel like everything's just all over the place. And honestly, with everything that's been going on with like breastfeeding and being a mom, I just really be needing to remember, okay, when, this might sound terrible, but when's the last time I fed him? Or when's the last time his diaper got changed? It's not like a drastic amount of time that I'm not feeding him or anything like that. It's just like, when's the last time I did it so I can plan in my head to be ready to do it when the time comes, you know? Like, yeah. or make sure his diapers and stuff are staying changed. And just stuff like that, just staying organized because, you know, like, as Babe was telling you guys earlier, it's just him and I, and we're here, and, you know, we're being parents, and we don't really have too much, like, background on it, other than me working in a daycare and Derek being the big brother. There's not really, it's really different when you got your own baby and when you're taking care of your baby. Thought it's crazy because we're watching him on here now while he takes his nap to update everything and just to get some time to breathe, you know. It can be very overwhelming as a first time parent. And just speaking from my personal behalf, like just being a first time mom and breastfeeding has really taken a toll on me. I'm not gonna say like on my mental, but like it has taken a toll over me in general as a human being because it's just like, I associate my body with him a lot now. Even when I was pregnant, I still was associating my body with him, but it's like now it's a little bit more on demand, you know, like it seems very demanding. It does, it seems very demanding. Like it seems like, you know, he's hung if he's hungry, he cries, feed him. Also with the fact of my, milk not being regulated yet my boobs are full they hurt feed him pump do something find something to do don't forget but then in the back of my head i'm like don't forget about yourself Jane. feed yourself some food so it's just like the balance the balance is kind of all over the place and it's just been like something that i've got to make a routine for and adjust to and learn about being a mom you know i would never shame a mother i've never shamed a mother's period i applaud them all because it's just like we are doing the damn thing. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. It's just like having people to support you and having a partner, having family that's going to support you is very important. And, you know, I just feel like being able to coach yourself during these tough moments is even more important than all of that that I said. You know, because the other day I had a really harsh time. I had a little breakdown and stuff. But, you know, it's life. And I let myself get overwhelmed. But I kind of, I didn't let myself know when I kind of was overwhelmed. But yeah, let me not rant too much or whatever. But, um, yeah, you've been doing a good job. Thank you. I appreciate it. Like we said, y'all, being parents ain't easy. And it really takes a lot of time, a lot of focus, a lot of love. And you got to, you know, figure out how to distribute that and still take care of yourself and your partner at the same time. You guys. And your baby. You know, I feel like we're getting it more and more each day. It's a blessing to see him grow. Uh, and you know he's gotten so much bigger since the first time he you know since we first met him so yeah it's um it's definitely a blessing all right you guys want to say thank y'all for tuning into this video that's the end make sure y'all like this video subscribe to the channel if you are new hit that bell if you want every upload we got coming you Good know show. until next time we out of here peace on love